The things that we use in our daily life are made up of different materials. Machines, vehicles, kitchen utensils and many other utility items are made up of a certain hard material called metals. Metals are extracted from minerals, substances found deep inside the earth. In this chapter, we will study minerals as an important natural resource. Minerals and Ores The earth is made up of rocks which are composed of different substances called minerals. Minerals are found in the rocky part of the earth and are important raw materials for construction and manufacturing industries. They play a very important role in our day-to-day -day lives. Right from the huge buildings we live to the computers and mobiles we use. Even early man used tools made of rocks and stones. Most of the metallic and non-metallic minerals are found near the surface of the earth. Some minerals like petroleum and natural gas are found very deep inside the earth. The ocean bed is a treasure of minerals. Kinds of Minerals Minerals are of two major types, metallic minerals and non-metallic minerals. These are present in the earth's crust in the form of ores. An ore is a mineral that contains a metal in such quantities that it can be extracted profitably. The ore may contain other minerals too. Metallic minerals are minerals from which metals are extracted. Iron, Copper, Manganese, Zinc, Silver, Nickel, Aluminium and Gold are examples of metals that are extracted from different metallic minerals. Aluminium is extracted from bauxite, one of its main ores. Copper Copper It is a valuable metal as it is a good conductor of electricity. It is largely used in making electric wires and electrical appliances. Copper, when mixed with zinc, forms brass and when mixed with tin, forms bronze. It is also used for making household utensils. It occurs in small quantities in India. It is found in Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Jharkhand and Tamil Nadu. Iron Iron is one of the most important minerals and is used in the manufacture of machinery and tools, medical and agricultural implements, vehicles and a host of household articles. It is also used extensively in railways, buildings, bridges, etc. 
iron is extracted from iron ore found in the earth's crust. The iron and steel industry has contributed significantly in the progress of the country. India has huge deposits of iron ore in Odisha, Karnataka, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh. Aluminium Aluminium is a light, flexible, rust-proof metal. Aluminium is used in the manufacture of utensils, airplanes, ships, automobile bodies, electric wires, etc. Aluminium is also a cheaper substitute of wood for furniture making. Huge deposits of bauxite, the chief ore of aluminium, are found in Odisha, Tamil Nadu, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Jharkhand, and Maharashtra. Manganese Manganese is used in the manufacture of steel. It is also used in chemicals and glass industries. India has many deposits of manganese in Odisha, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Goa and Maharashtra. Non-metallic minerals Non-metallic minerals are minerals that have no metallic shine and break easily. These include sand, coal, gypsum, petroleum, limestone, etc. Gypsum is largely used in making cement. Coal Coal is an important mineral and source of energy. It is largely used as fuel in India for domestic purposes such as cooking and heating and for generating thermal power. Coal deposits are found in Jharkhand, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh. Crude oil or petroleum This valuable and very useful mineral is also a very important source of energy. It is found in a thick, dark form in the deep interior of the earth and under the seabed. Very deep oil wells have to be constructed in order to extract crude oil and petroleum from the oil reserves. Most of India's oil reserves are at Mumbai High on the western coast. Petroleum is also found at Digboy in Assam, Khambat and Ankaleshwar and Kalol in Gujarat which have large reserves of petroleum. The extracted crude oil or petroleum is then refined, that is, by removing impurities from it in refineries. In India, we have refineries in Mumbai, Chennai, Kochi, Mangalore and Goa, where crude oil is refined to obtain petroleum and petroleum products. Cooking gas, kerosene, petrol, diesel and petroleum jelly are some by-products of crude oil. 
petroleum used as fuel in cars is commonly called petrol and diesel petroleum is also called black coal many other products such as dyes paints and drugs and chemicals are the by products of petroleum conservation of mineral resources we all depend on natural resources for our survival sunlight air wind and water do not get exhausted and are thus called renewable resources however mineral resources are present in limited amounts in the earth's crust it takes thousands of years for the formation of coal or petroleum and they are thus considered to be non renewable sources of energy we must therefore use our mineral resources wisely and must not waste a chance to conserve them thus we now know about the mineral resources of india